Right, so we're back with another SET math video. So this one says the value of a collectible comic book increased by 167% from the end of 2011 to the end of 2012, and then decreased by 16% from the end of 2012 to the end of 2013. What was the net percentage increase in the value of the collectible comic book from the end of 2011 to the end of 2013? All right, so first off from 2011, to 2012 we've got um, let's just call the starting value of 2012 sorry the starting value of the end of 2011 as x and now we're going to apply a value of 167 percent to the end of 2012 all right so x here so 167 percent can also be represented as 2.67 as our scale factor now why well, because you can either think of it as a 100% increase is just a 2x multiplier, and therefore you can just add the 0 0.67 over it, or you can use the formula 1 plus or minus, depending on the uh, increase or decrease, over percent over 100, right? So here, if we were to plug in 167, right, 167 divided by 100 would be 1.67, and 1 plus 1.67 would give us 2.64. So now here, know that our current value at the end of 2012 is 2.67x. But we want to find the net percentage, right? And we know from 2012 to 2013, um, it actually decreased by 16%. So we can just use our formula over here, 1 minus 16 over 100. And this will give us a value of 0.84, right? Cool. So we know that the value of 0 0.84 will be applied to this value, right? The value we had at the end of 2012. And so we have 0 0.84 times 2.67x. And so to find the net percentage here, we just multiply these two values. 0 0.84 times 2.67 gives us a value of 2.2428. This is not the percentage, it's a scale factor, right? So now we can utilize this uh, equation again. So we set this equal to one plus percentage over 100, and we just solve for that percent change, right? So we can subtract one on both sides, subtract one on both sides, then we get 1.24 something, and we multiply both sides by 100, and so this will ultimately give us around 124%. So around 124% increase matches up with answer choice A, and therefore that is our answer. Make sure you check out our other SAT prep videos, and good luck on your SAT.